Hello everyone, welcome to another video of the eye opener series. My name is Dr. Senthil Jayaseelan and I'm a consultant in anesthetics and pain management in the UK. Today we have got Dr. J.V. Arun Kumar, who is a great friend of mine. He's a consultant anesthetist uh, in the UK and he has come to speak to us about the specialty of anesthesia. Now, this interview would be very useful for the medical students who are listening to this. And if you've got any questions about this, you can feel free to ask us any time in the near future. Right, before, without any further delay, let's uh, welcome uh, Dr. Arun Kumar to this um, um, online meeting. Hello, Dr. Arun Kumar. Hello, how are you? Hello, hello, Sintel. I'm fine. I'm fine. It's so thank good you very to much see for you. inviting me to speak. Uh, thank you. It is, it is really good to see you actually, because this interview is very special to me because uh, anesthesia is my specialty too, but you are the expert. <laughs> so let me speak to the expert first. <laughs> and uh, it was also going to be useful for our uh, medical students as well. Okay. So um, as you know, Arun, I generally start this interview by asking positives about a specialty. So in terms of anesthetics, if a medical student is wanting to take this as a career, what uh, are the positives? Uh, what would you say about your specialty that will persuade him or her to take the specialty? Right, okay. Um, anesthesia is a fascinating field, okay? It's not just about putting people to sleep. It has got elements that are very much hands-on like performing challenging, time-critical, practical skills, but also has the elements that are cerebral and knowledge-based that requires sound understanding and manipulation of human physiology. We as anesthetists are at the sharp end of medicine and get not just familiar, but also very comfortable with life-saving drugs and techniques. Think about it. In a room full of medics, you as the anesthetist would be the one who is best equipped in resuscitating a collapsed person or a patient. But anesthesia is far more than just this. I have to emphasize that anesthesia is not one little unidimensional specialty. There are scores of specialties to choose from. For every surgical specialty there is, there is an allied anesthetic specialty. If you like treating children, you can become a pediatric anesthetist. If you enjoy the physiological nuances of the heart, you can become a cardiac anesthetist. If you relish in fast pace and making quick decisions, you can be a trauma anesthetist. If it is the brain that rocks you, then you can be a neuro anesthetist. Anesthesia also opens up wider vistas in terms of career choice. Most inten intensive care specialists have a background training in anesthesia. If you want to specialize in pain medicine, a noble and caring speciality where you tend to people suffering from intractable and protracted pain like cancer. You guessed it right, you need a background in anesthesia. For me, it's a perfect marriage between surgery and medicine. In short, you need to know more about medicine than a surgeon and more about surgery than a medic. What more can you want? Arun, just gives, this gives me goosebumps, just to hear uh, the specialty of anesthetics uh, from an expert. Now, there are negatives to anything. Uh, now, in terms of, um, you know, the challenges in your field, um, yep. has anything put you off? Uh, I mean, as a trainee or as a consultant, uh, as you are right now, uh, would you have changed your decision if you were a few years younger? Um, no, the short answer is no. I've been an anesthetist for nearly 20 years now. I've had my fair shares of ups and downs, and, but I can honestly say that I have no regrets. I have enjoyed every moment of this journey so far. And every day I wake up for work, I still have the same excitement and enthusiasm like a kid in a candy shop. However, I do understand that my speciality is not for everyone. Most of our work happens in background, many times 
It is under-recognized and even unrecognized. To give you an analogy, we anistas can weave exquisite wedding saris, but by and large, remain in the shadows when the bride gets fated for her dressing elegance. If you are sort of a person who craves for that adulation that keeps you going, this may not be the specialty for you. Another thing that anesthesia, another thing is that anesthesia as a specialty is where things can go from zero to 100 in a matter of seconds. There'll be long periods of lull interspersed with moments of excitement where your temperament and technical skills are called into rapid action. You need the mind of a Zen master combined with the motor skills of Bruce Lee. Some people may find that stressful, but equally many do thrive in it. The third thing which I disagree is that some people may say that patient contact is minimal in anesthesia. In a conventional sense, sense yes, it is true. Most of us don't do clinics, nor do we see the patient from the start to the finish of their medical journey. But what we lack in quantity, we make up in quality. The amount of time that patients spend with us may be limited, but please do remember, surgery is one of the most stressful periods in one's life. And we as anesthetists have the opportunity to make a real difference to those facing such monumental stress. Excellent, Aaron, excellent. Now, the next question, or my final question would be, um, if I'm a medical student and if I want to become an anesthetist or a good anesthetist, what would your advice be? Okay, I would say three things, broadly speaking. Uh, the first thing is speak to people. You'll be surprised to know that the anesthetic department is by far the biggest department in most specialty hospitals. So you won't be very far from an anesthetist and most of us as anesthetists are very happy to guide and direct and advise medical students in choosing their career path. The next thing is arrange a test or week, a session, a few days. Even if you can't arrange you know, a test or session in anesthetics, if you are say doing a surgical placement, get chatting with your anesthetist, ask millions of questions to us, be curious, be inquisitive, and you'll find that that, that will be extremely rewarding. The last thing I think is the most important thing is introspect. Ask yourself what your temperament is. Would it should suit the speciality? It is not the end of the world if you think that temperament is not suited to uh, anesthesia. There is nothing that you can't change if you put your mind to it. So the real question that you have to ask yourself is that if you're willing to change and adapt. I want you to remember one thing. There is nothing called a good speciality or a bad speciality. There are only specialties that are good for you and there are specialties that are bad for you. You would not walk into a cloth shop and pick up the first or shiniest dress that you see. You will try it, think about it, and see if it will suit you or not. So investing some time and effort in your career choice will go a long way in ensuring that you have a fulfilling and rewarding professional as well as personal life. Oh, thank you very much, Arun. Thank you. It was very useful info for uh, all the medical students. And I think even the other specialists from other areas may want to think about changing their specialty after listening <laughs> to your talk. <laughs> thank you very much, Arun. Now, one question which I would want to ask is, um, if the medical sure. student who joined this forum in the future want to ask you some questions, would you be happy to answer those uh, questions, please? I'll be absolutely delighted. I'll be absolutely delighted. And for anyone watching uh, as medical students, thinking about a career path, I wish you the very best in your quest to find out who you are and what you want to be. Good luck. Thank you very much, Arun. Thank you. I hope to see you soon.